quack, bitch. <laughs> Today, I'm getting my lips. Oh no. Apparently, I should have gone straight to the emergency room last night. Shut up. Mm. It was pretty, babe. You're giving birth to the <laughs> Yeah, Clearly, it's time. I should just. <laughs> I was too embarrassed to go to the emergency room and tell them that I had an applicator stuck inside me because I'm 28. Like, why Why am I having these issues at my big age? And then I was also too embarrassed to tell my mother that last night because she was obviously asleep and I didn't know what to do. So um, this afternoon, I was like, Mommy, I have an applicator stuck inside me. And she was like, oh, okay, no worries. Let me just contact the doctor. Um, apparently, I should have gone straight to the emergency room last night because I can get an infection and die. But like, I was busy in the middle of my lunch. Like, what? If it's lasted this long, I'm sure it can last a few more hours. Maybe like half an hour more. But she was like, no. So um, yeah, don't don't use applicators. This is me casually living life, going to lunch with my friend and my sister with a tampon stuck inside me. No one had any idea what was going on until we got to lunch and I was experiencing really bad cramps. And I was like, guys, I think I need to go to the hospital. And they were like, why? And I was like, well, last night, um, like 24 hours ago, I did something. And then my mum was like, you better get your ass to the clinic right now. It needs to get taken out right now. And I was like, oh, it's fine. She's like, no, you will go into septic, sh septic, septic shock and die. And I was like, okay, cute. So obviously dragged my friend with me and I was like, babe, vlog content. So we headed to Biolight and we actually have an aesthetic gynecologist at Biolight who opened me up and extracted whatever was left inside me. This is me happily living life without my tampon stuck inside me. Please bear in mind that this was the first ever time I've used a tampon. I'm 28, but you know. So yeah, then I headed to the gym, put on a face mask on my way because I need to stay hydrated. I'm doing hot yoga. And then after the gym... Got ready to go out and shake ass with my friend. You know how it is when you're young, dumb, and rich. And then I had to plug in my little car because she is high maintenance. When you have an electric car, it's very important to charge them. Otherwise, you might end up stranded and, you know, alone. No one to help you. So, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing coming out. You, I think you were assuming it's like a snake of, like... Oh, tissue roll. There's nothing. Freaked out for no reason. I know it's your first time, so you're freaked out. Trust me, that was me. Mm. Okay, so I've been driving it for about 24 hours now, safe to say. And honestly, it is very much a Rolls Royce. There is nothing that sets it apart from any other Rolls Royces, apart from the fact that there is absolutely zero noise no engine noise not much outside noise it's quite silent although there is an artificial sound you can use when you accelerate however i've turned that off because i just don't need that um it, it's very fast it picks up speed and accelerates very quickly and you also can't really gauge how fast you're going i'll be doing 100 and be like oh i'm not complaining though it's a very smooth drive very silent very easy to maneuver also because we paid extra for the wheel i did tell mona we had to pay extra for this wheel she was like what do you need this extra cost for this wheel ensures that you stay in your lane it helps you maneuver the car much easier than having a regular steering wheel so the regular steering wheels you can get two-toned and i did really like that but i was like you know what no but i'm so glad we got this wheel like it just so if you don't have a Rolls Royce, you'll probably not be invited to any of these events. So I'm going to take you guys to the event. <laughs> when I bought my Spectre, they invited me on several events. And I'm so grateful to meet some lovely, like-minded women. <laughs> so today we were invited to go on a Spectre drive. And they did say we could drive their demo cars. But I was like, babe, I've got my own. <laughs> Of course, I had my passenger princess with me, my mother, who is shit scared of my driving, but she is an excellent camera woman. She did a fantastic job getting all these angles, all these shots. And it was a small group of like just four of us. We pulled up to the Lana, which is a new hotel by the Dorchester. And we went to the Dior Spa. This is such a cute hotel. I've never been here before. It was my first time. And I definitely think I'll be coming back. I didn't go for a full Dior fit today. I just wore my flats and a little bag. And the spa is so cute. Like, I definitely think I'll be coming back here. They do also have couple rooms, which is so important for me when I'm going out with my lesbian friend, Ansi. This is actually one of the most aesthetically... Pl Properly. Pleasing. Properly. <laughs> <laughs> Aesthetic.
aesthetically pleasing spas. My mom is so cute, but they I also have a <laughs> they also have a gym with all the Dior equipment, which you can actually buy. Yeah, you have to you contact. Don't go there. You don't go to the gym. I don't go to the gym, but yeah, you it's cute. I would I would go to the gym if I had all this Dior equipment. You know, what? I'm going to tell my mother she needs to invest in this next. They also have little Dior towels. Loki did want to steal these, but they would you notice. <laughs> They also had these robes and then I changed, I showered and I got into my little outfit and this was the state I left the room in. But then we headed upstairs to their like lounge. Like I was chilling after I had a massage. Like they put me in a lounge to chill and then we went upstairs for sunset dinner. So cute. This restaurant is like a lounge bar. Like I'll definitely be coming here for rooftop drinks with friends in winter. Cause right now it is scorching hot and I'm not a fan. This view is honestly stunning, but like it was so foggy this day, unfortunately, and I got back into my bathing Quack, bitch. <laughs> Today, I'm getting my lips dissolved. Yeah, you're gonna be lipless. You're gonna I'm be gonna a white be, woman. And like, I might be going on holiday, so like, babe, what am I doing? <gasps> babe, why are we always on the verge of dying? Let's go get this filler removed or topped up. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, get done with your vlog. Do you know what, what's happened? For two weeks now I'll hang out with your daughter. I get an email yesterday. From Chase Mesh. Past two thousand dollars. How much like what are you doing? Are you on vacation? <laughs> I wanted to do my lips again. Of course. I think the last time I did them was in January with Dr. Ban. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking, do I need to dissolve them? Mm -hmm. I don't really want to dissolve them. Yeah. Let's see. Now, after assessment, I will check the lips have, if there is a need for dissolving, so we will dissolve. Okay. And there is yeah, I just need like a little bit, nothing yes. too drastic. Okay. But like, I love the way you do lips. Mm -hmm. so Thank like, you. Yeah. Have you done a lip flip before? No. What okay. is a lip flip? Botox. Well, lip flip, we can do it using a Botox, a little bit of Botox injecting on this upper uh, lip just to relax these uh, circle muscle mm. rounding the lips in order to flip it a little bit. Okay. Howdy. Natural. Yeah. No, we don't want One that. One of the animals from the zoo is what she's always <laughs> looking for. Yes, we need to dissolve this, this side, you see from mm. a side, the filler here, and this side as well. Mm -hmm. We need to dissolve mainly because when I touch, this it's, is yeah. the filler. It's moving from the lips into the skin above. The lower lip, it's amazing. There is no migration in this area. It's amazing, very good. Just the upper one. So can we dissolve this, but still inject this? Uh, let's dissolve all upper lip. Okay. We will do the allergy test as well, because it's very important for us. Safety is number one. Yeah. Uh, once everything goes fine, we will start dissolving. Do you have the dental blocks? Yeah, but no need for it. I can do it, but really no need. Been, how do they find you? I was looking all over in LA for um, the angel cubic bow. Yeah. Guys, I fucking hate Auntie. Just, I hate Auntie. You know, she really got me excited today. Well, last night she was like, Oh, I'm gonna let you dye my hair. I was so excited to play beautician for once after like 10 years. Like, I used to try and do stuff on my sister. I did breadcrumb her and I told her I was gonna. I can't speak, how are you speaking? Yeah, so just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> she, shut up the next one while looking she, at. Let me just put some cling film over your lips <laughs> so you be quiet. This is supposed to be my appointment and she's come. <laughs> I'm like chatting with the doctor, <laughs> like, she's my best friend. Like, hey. So she told me I could dye her hair for her and I'm so excited. Now she's telling me, well, bear in mind, she literally bleached her hair like a week ago. I, I want to say ago. a week ago, about a week, a week ago. ago. I love my hair today. I don't know and now hair. she's telling me, literally, 10 minutes ago, I want to, let's go get box dye. My hair is orange now? here. Yeah, we should dye it. No, I really like my hair. Do you hate it? Do you like it? What? Can I dye it pink? Absolutely not. What? The, just like the highlighted bits will be pink. No. I will color my hair if you get bangs today. If I'm going down, I'm dragging you down with me. Let's get bangs. Let's, no. You know what I'm kidding? You see how fucking sneaky she is? Guys, I really want to get like, bangs. Let's, 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 let's get it. Come, you do your hair first and then I'll do my hair. Yeah, yeah. I really want to get bangs, I'm not sure. You know I feel like we just need like someone really? to film us. We have our own show going on, but why are we filming on two cameras? Like, 
What is this life? You're really going through it when you want to get banged. So okay, like, Ansi still yeah. thinks she's like in her mid twenties. Really can someone understand. can someone please explain to her once you've passed twenty five, you're no longer mid, you're late twenties. Twenty five and a half. Twenty six. No, you're twenty six and a half. What do men bring to the table? Like when you have everything, like there really needs to be some kind of unicorn to come into your life and transform it. Like what are you bringing to the table oh God, really? that I can't bring to my give to myself? Men know. really be doing the bare minimum and telling us we're old. Like, I'm so sorry, sir, but you are pathetic. Give me what I can't give to myself. Give me a private jet. Give me a, give me a super yacht. Give me... Thank you. I should just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So I'll start injecting the skin where we have the migrated filler. You're gonna have swelling. Perfect. That was it. That's fine. Good. Yeah. Look at you, champ. <laughs> Doing the left so side usually hurts more than the. And it actually always hurts more than the right. How really? Oh my god. Not really good. No, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. You look like 2016 when you would do your luxury hauls and no one told you your lips are humongous. Oh my god. Is it swollen? I love it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I remember I got my lips dissolved and I sent my friends a picture and I was like, hey guys, do you like my new lips? And they were yeah. like, silence. <laughs> I, oh my God. I did that with my brother. In a Look at me. <laughs> one. And tomorrow another one. So uh -huh. this one will be will subside fastly. Oh, I don't need the towel to do it. <laughs> She wants it like that, <laughs> not there. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him when okay, I just got my lips done by a <laughs> Terrible, you were the worst friend I know. Jangled you all. Really? I feel like, tell me. I feel like it has gone out, I'm not sure. Because I like that look though, I did tell her I want it to be like up to down. Oh no. Shut up. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> okay so i just got my lips dissolved and i'm looking crazy but it's fine auntie also got her dissolved her lips dissolved so here we are both quack quack bitch <laughs> <laughs> ew oh my god oh my god oh my god i leave her two seconds i don't know what you get yourself into you're embarrassing what are you i can't even say it i was like i'm driving by i was like oh hell no why oh is that his car? No, he's in a roll. Anyways, um, what are you doing tonight? I'm home, separated from this friendship. No, you're not. It's too cold, Dad. We're going out. Bitch! We're going- I can't believe we had bougie coffee today and I have fillers in my lips at 2 p.m. I'm so tired of you. What do you mean we're going out? Where are we going? It's Tuesday. Go, go get a good. job. Oh, go get a job. What are you doing on a Tuesday? Where do you want to go out on a Tuesday? I have friends in town that want to hang out. The worst ones. Yeah! <laughs> What are we doing now, babe? Where are we going looking like this? Should we're we gonna crochet. Absolutely not. Okay, so today, Auntie and I are getting friendship bracelets welded onto our wrists. We're so excited. She's dying. <laughs> we need to get you water. I'm thinking I might get you an anklet. Stop, you're the worst. What? It's literally a friendship bracelet. <laughs> you have to get bracelets. No, but I just don't do chain oh bracelets. My God. <gasps> I'm yeah, so. Okay. Which one are you going for? <laughs> so we're done. Are you excited? I am. And then how we're getting so, 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 so smiling. <laughs> I have to hold my throat like this and laugh. She makes me laugh. <laughs> Thank God it's I'm so cute. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> I really was like, it's not gonna hurt. No, stop it. It's perfect. It, it hurt, but it's very quick. It hurts. It's like hurt? a tattoo. Yeah, yeah they're like gonna the tattoo ones. it onto you. Like Wait, it's gonna be what? Stuck. <laughs> That's permanent. Yeah, of course. You're gonna die with it. I thought babe. she's joking. No, yeah. you're gonna put it inside of me. Yeah, yeah like a piercing. You didn't know that. No, you're lying. This is a <laughs> no. joke. <laughs> she's gonna no, no, no. Stop <laughs> it. I'm literally dying inside. You don't want to do it. Close There's your eyes. No if you way. don't want to do it, you tell us. Stop it. <laughs> you know your piercing is inside my soul. Why oh, that's so cute? Does that make sense to you? Because when you wear heels, your ankle expands. It's and in summer. It's true. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you're right. What okay. happened? No, go back. Yeah, go up. Yeah, it's fine. No, you do the yeah. But yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, now I get it. <laughs> so for me, this is good. Yeah. Uh, yes. You're not the first one, just so you know. <laughs> okay, There's good. a lot of people coming with a thought of, oh, let's get like a matching one. Yeah. And they end up having different things because people are different tests. 